the early 1900s, an artist and art teacher bought her first painting and it was a Diego Rivera. She ended up building one of the most beautiful homes here on a goat farm. The McNay is one of the most beautiful pieces of real estate in San Antonio. In this location, there's weddings, there's jazz here on the lawn every couple of Thursdays. You can have corporate events or you can just take a nice stroll through some of the best art in Texas. Hey guys, here we are at the McNay Art Museum. We're with Rich Asti, the director and CEO of the museum. One of the coolest places in town. I've been here several times. I love it. Um, thank you for having us. So the McNay, how did it get its name? Tell me some of the history of the museum. Absolutely, we're named after Marion Kugler McNay, a visionary artist from Ohio who came here and like so many of us quickly fell in love with San Antonio and decided during a third marriage on the site that we're standing here to build the house behind me in 1929. So this is her mansion? Her original home, 24 rooms, Spanish colonial revival designed by a father-son team, Robert and Atlee Ayers. And they donated it to the city, or how did this work? They did, so she had no children. That, that marriage did not last, and she went on to a fourth and fifth marriage. But by the time she passed away in 1950, she was once again single, and we became her children. Having had no kids, we inherited everything. She was very laser focused on giving back to the community a place of beauty and belonging. So tell me about the art here, because there's many different types of art. What can somebody expect to see when they come to the, to the McNay? I love that you referenced different because we are all about diversity here and the collection included 700 masterpieces by very famous artists today that she bought in the 1920s and 30s when they weren't as fashionable. So you'll expect to find here masterpieces by Vincent van Gogh, Paul Gauguin, Pablo Picasso. But since her passing and when we opened as a museum in 1954, we kept building onto that collection. So today we're also known for our world-class prints and drawings. You'll also find a very small but beautiful collection of Renaissance, medieval and Renaissance paintings and sculptures. But we even did a show of classic American automobiles and classic American paintings side by side. And that was also very, very popular. Very, very cool. Now I've noticed that, I mean, it's not only beautiful inside, it's beautiful outside. And I know you guys do much more than just art. You have different events, correct? Absolutely, it's one of the great strengths of the McNays that we're a destination for beauty and for the community. So Rich, as the director, what do you see for the future of the museum? We continue to define ourselves through excellence, integrity, and innovation. And we're really committed to redefining the museum experience every year, pushing new limits so that all of our visitors are completely surprised with every single visit. So to get a, a, a tour of the greatest museum in San Antonio, some of the greatest pieces of art that the world has ever seen, come to the McNay, check it out. This is it from the American Dream this week. We'll see you next time.